Hello guys, welcome back to Victoria 2, playing as France. Uh, so, I something bad happened last episode, and uh, after I recorded uh, last episode, I like ended the game and uh, saved and went out to look at uh, what I recorded. And then uh, uh, it didn't record. It hadn't recorded anything. It was just a black screen with me talking. So you might notice a small time jump here. I don't really know for how many years, uh, but I will at least try and <laughs> save a different save after this episode and see if it actually works. Uh, Victoria 2 is a bit funky when you try to alt tap, so I can't really go out and check. Uh, I have problems getting back into the game again if I do so. Uh, so right now I'm crossing my fingers and I can. <laughs> I hope uh, you can hear me and everything is in order. But yeah, uh, I guess last episode I didn't really do much. I attacked Vietnam for this stuff up here, and then after a few years, it. There was some kind of event with some pirates that popped into existence here. The Black Flags, I think they were called. Or the Hiku Yun, I think they were called Black Flags in English. Which now is a satellite of the Qing Empire, and... Uh, they declared war on me. <laughs> so, yeah. So now we're at war with China. Or oh, Qing. Same, same, but different. So, let's try and see if we can resist with our Mika forces over here. I did send my fleet over with another army. They are transporting a... They should be transporting another army. Yeah, pretty sure. Mm. Yeah, here. So they are coming over to assist. <clears throat> it doesn't look like they have a large army, the Qing Empire. It's only 45 here, so they might have a large army and they just have shitty tech. I'm not sure how this is uh, calculated, if it's, techs, if it's tech and size. It doesn't really seem like tech here to me, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll find out in a moment if we get swarmed. I'm sending this army up here to take a look uh, and do battle with them. We should have much better tech than them, at least. Ooh. Okay, go up here then. Can we catch them? I don't know. Nope. There we go. Uh, okay, it seems fine. I'm not sure I like having two armies out here in the Far East, but I guess it's okay for now. <coughs> donk, donk, donk. Okay. Uh, go up here. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoops. Right. Tensions dissipate. Indochina lose to militancy. Nice. I'm about to get a tech done here, a small tech. I think it was in commerce we got it. Yeah. Let's see. Input. Some prestige. Sure. It's a rather small tech as well. We're trying to make <coughs> take some of these smaller techs we have <coughs> in commerce. To get that up to speed. We do have, I think, pretty good tech. Maybe. Oh no. Uh, let's see. Okay, they are arriving. Actually, can you sail up to... Can you sail, just sail up here, really? <gasps> Belgium is no longer in a sphere of influence. Goddamn Germans. <coughs> Ooh, 12 and a half prestige. Up here. Sabotage. Militant Trade Union. Hmm. Let's please the fat cats. Because nothing has ever happened if you abuse the, the workers, nothing bad will happen from that, right? Ooh, okay, uh, okay, they have arrived with more troops, but so have I. So, so has I. Have I? That the Russian Empire calls for conference. European powers in Constantinople should discuss the ability of the Ottoman Empire to maintain stability in the Balkans. 
Uh, the Great Eastern Crisis will be removed from the French Republic. <coughs> oh, the Ottoman haters. Oh well. Oh well. Oh, Rah, got an assist. The loss of Alsace Lorraine. Alsace Lorraine was lost to the Germans in a fateful war. They became stronger. They become stronger by the day, fueled by a military industrial complex that feeds their war machine with weapons and ammunition. While the society is geared for the training and recruitment of soldiers for their armies. Some voices in our government argue that if we're ever to take back our lands, we need our own military industrial complex and our own military reforms. Mm. It's for 10 years. At least a bonus here. Latash Nor. Eh, sure, why not? We do want Alsace Lorraine back. Okay, they do have a lot more troops than I suspected. They have shitty tech, but they might just outdo us in terms of raw numbers. Maybe. The Russian Empire? Sure, if you want to. Uh, go down here. Oh shit, that was a lot. We are killing a lot more than they're killing ours, but... Oh. Ah! Are we winning or losing? I think we're winning. Oh, they would accept this. Okay. Hmm. But we didn't regain, no. Are we still at war? No. The chill down in Saigon, I guess. Should we keep that army over here as well? Mm, sure. Oh, what's this? Exempt that, no. No. Reclaim Alsace Lorraine. Oh, we can click this. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't... No, it's not a war. We just say Alsace Lorraine is ours. The Quang Chao Wan concession. Uh, Gang Xiao Bay is situated in Guangdong province. Chang, Quang Chong province. On the east side of the Li Xiao Peninsula. North of Hainan. Right now, right now, the cities are commercially unimportant, but is strategically located needed in order to counter the growing British commercial power in Hong Kong. Gain? Oh, we can take it. Why can't we just... Oh, okay. Did the French have this? I guess they did. Duke. Yoink. The Treaty of Tietzin, signed in 1875, officially ended the Sino-French War. Hm. I didn't even know they had a war. Hm. I have to look that up. Now I'm curious. The unequal treaty in 10 articles restated in greater details the main provisions of the Tietzen Accord signed between France and China previously. As Article 2 required China to recognize the French protectorate over Annan and Tonkin, established by the Treaty of Hu, Hui, Hu, implicitly abandoning her own claims to suzerain, suzerainty, suzerainty over Vietnam, the treaty formalized. Uh, Formalized France's victory in the Sino French War. Gain one infamy, that's okay. Some prestige. All pops in Qing. East Asia now militancy. We inherit. Hikuyun. Yoink. Uh, enable return course. What the frick is this? The return course decision allowed to return course of vassals and fillings as long as you don't have a core. Okay, nah. Signed the Javina Convention. Oh, infamy goes up. Nah. Gain 25, okay. <laughs> Enable release of vassal. Okay, I think that's that for now. 
How are we doing over here? Liberal, socialist, conservative, a few commies. Hmm, mainly conservative, reactionary. Well, no, but conservative, liberal, okay. Bonapista, still. Jingoism, donk. Alright, so we inherited the thing we lost, right. Uh, our navy, I want my navy back. To the main, to uh, metropol metropolitan France. Just need to wait a tick, so they repair a bit more, then we put them on their way back to Toulon. Come on. Oh, they're not repairing? Oh. George, after George's Boulanger was, was, was recalled from the command of the army in North Africa, he returned to Paris and began to take part in politics under the ages of George Clemenceau and the Radicals. In 1875, when Jules de Fréquinet was brought into power, Clemenceau used his influence to secure Boulanger's appointment as war minister. Clemenceau assumed that Boulanger, uh, Boulanger was a Republican because he was known not to attend Mass. Hmm. Well, we can't do anything else here, but... Uh, Soldier officers become more conservative and more reactionary. Okay, we get for five, four years. Ruling party up, mobilization up, land starting experience up. Okay, sure. Okay, then not repairing here. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, sell back to Toulon, regardless. Duk. Oh, don't, don't. Did we build a lot of the stuff here? I think we did. I wish there was a, like, build roads everywhere, or railroads. Colonial diseases, who cares? Well, 20% down, damn. Naturally, na naturally, we must aid the colony. Uh, uh, that's 10,000, that's okay. That's fine. Moralism, pluralism. Hmm. Hmm. Both of these are moralism. Okay. Donk. Mm, mm, mm. Morocco. Oh, they're trying to annex all of Morocco there. Okay. Uh, boop. Oh. In this part of the ten main markets, though besides uh, these, there are a vast number of others in the different parts of town. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Excellent. Quang, Quang Cho Wan gets tree port until the end of the game. Farm size and mine size. Oh, oh right, we gained something. Oh, right here. Collectivist theory. Nice, I guess. What do we have? Build, build. Mm, what are you, by the way? You are... S okay. All alone. What if I establish protectorate? Whew. Too much. <coughs> We're in 75. Should we get this one? It's quite good. Another focus and more diplomatic points. Which is nice. Hmm. We should not forget our military as well. Our ships. Hmm. Our supply range. Hmm. Let's get revolution and counter revolution. A lot of good, I guess. Whoa, what was that? Secret police. A lot of good of inventions, I suppose. It's quite expensive, though, so... Also, minus 10. Bah. Guns and industry. Okay, oh well. Take this one, regardless. It will take a while. Uh, November of 76. Yeah, a bit over a year. Uh, okay. Economy. S let's take state capitalism. Oh, they ate a bunch of Persia here, right. Yeah, the British are in a lot of cookie jaws here. Oh. Hmm. Should I try to influence these guys or not? I can't really tell. I'd rather just devour them, because I know France like eats all this, but I'm not sure if we get some kind of event about it or not, when we get to the scramble for Africa thing. I think that's a big event that arrives. Now, this war over here, what's that about? Again, the 
Great Eastern Crisis, status quo, free the Balkans. Oh. Uh, moralism. Conservative. Mm -hmm, okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. The United Kingdom calls for Congress. We have received word from the British that they intend to hold a Congress of European powers in their capital to discuss the ability of the Ottomans to maintain stability in the Balkans. Some feel we should favor keeping keeping favor with the Ottomans. What the hell? Some feel we should favor keeping the Ottoman Empire strong, right, in the interest of preventing the Russians from expanding into the Middle East. This could potentially improve the relations with the Ottomans as well. Others believe stability in the Balkans should be a priority, even though it might come at the expense of the Ottomans. And our relationship with them. Still, others feel we should not to pardon this veiled attempt at dismembering a sovereign nation. Mm. Let's do stability in the Balkans. <laughs> See what happens. Did the war end? It did. Okay. Do they get some kind of event? Where they get wrecked? Oh. Is still a satellite? Yeah. I do want Tunis as well. Hmm. Good to hear. Agrees to the demand. The Congress of Long keep the Empire strong. Okay. Uh, the great powers of Europe joined together in London to negotiate the future of the Balkans. While there was much contention, ultimately it was decided that the Ottoman Empire needed to be kept strong, and any demands placed on it should be not weaken its interest unduly. Few of the attendees were pleased, the Russians in particular, and even though the Congress favored the Ottomans, it remains to be seen whether they will bow to European pressure and uphold the Congress's edict. Okay, so nothing... Oh, uh, never mind. Something happened. Oh, Karl Marx. Greece also gained this, I think. Right, I think so. What the hell? Influence in Montenegro. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Oh yes. Bulgaria is two. Must Bulgaria divide into two parts? Hmm. I mean, in real life, when they first came into existence again. Hmm. Bosnia. Oh, Romania's attacking, or the other way around. Austria, Hungary. Greece. Are you at war, Greece? No, protected by me, though. I can't sphere you. I think. No, wait, you're on my sphere. Oh, okay, sure. Let's keep it that way. Sure. I'll protect you, Greece. Suffraget and Suffragists. Reactionaries, sure. Oh, this influ. Are we not losing anything? We are losing some. Hmm. How's it going with our clerks? Not that fast. I feel like intellectuals were a lot faster, getting up to 4%. Maybe we don't need 4... It does have favor 4% here, though. Hmm. Oh well. We broke the 90% uh, literacy mark, which is pretty good. French, Lesser Antilles. I still haven't figured out if it's a good idea making these non-colonials. Like, I guess, maybe? Oh. Hmm. Why can't we build the railroads here? Infrastructure jungle. Okay, I see. I see. All oh, right. What about down here? Bonk, bada bong. Oh, damn. All pops. Oh crap. I guess. Probably. Hmm. Uh, craftsman. Yeah, sure. Lose some of that stuff. Destitution and poverty. Close down the bars. 
Sure. Uh, LGs and orange. Fine, maybe. <laughs> Probably. Oh, we lost a bunch of. Uh, oh, right. Literacy. Hmm. <coughs> Some local restrictions. Oh, my f I think my phone just beeped. Without, I just clicked it immediately when it, yeah, it finished the timer. Right, so I hope <laughs> I have recorded something this time around. Um, yeah. Jean Jury. Okay. Okay, third place. We are neck and neck with the. Almost with the. Damn, what the. F oh, Jesus Christ. How can you. How can they. Get so many points from industry. I don't get it. What are they doing that I'm not? It's because they can build them this themselves. They only conserve. I don't think they can. No, they only have interventionism. They can't build factories themselves. Hmm. Huh. Do they get some kind of bonus? It's. I, I get it that the German Empire had more industry than France, but it just seems like completely out of whack. Maybe I don't know. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're about to get this here finished. Nice. Nice. Mm. Oh, oh, really? Okay, damn. How many intellectuals do I have here? Not enough. Let's get some intellectuals here first. Took. Oh. The Mycenaean excavations. Right. It's about the Mycenaeans. So you can pause and read this if you want to. Let's just look here. Oh. Oh, we found it. The government of Greece has granted us the rights to excavate. Oh, right, because we're friendly with Greece. To the end of the game, for now at least, we get a bit more prestige, and Greece likes us, and we get a bit of extra prestige. Noise. Uh, can we click it again? No? Hmm, what's this? Create Cambodian Protectorate, French Indochina. What is this? With the colonial government taking form in Saigon, French administrators have advised ele elevating the region to a full department, clearly with the eyes of expanding French colonial rule to neighbors in Southeast Asia. Land, liberty, labor. Uh, for blah, 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 five years. Growth, assimilation rate. Oh, it's in Saigon, right. Blah, blah, blah. Someone down there doesn't like me. Eh, I don't care. Create Cambodian. Inherit Cambodia. Oh. Yeah, sure. You want Inherit? Like, completely inherit. Oh, nice. What are you? Right, independent primitives. Right for the picking. Hmm. Okay, all oh, this is 1900. Yeah, okay. Uh, 1900. Uh, 80 here, okay. Uh, industry. Let's get better railroads. It's a relatively small tech. Relatively. And what are you here? Settler of the Varatatani, the Thai Empire Kingdom. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, hello. An anarchic bomb thrower. Uh, <coughs> Okay. Is there any tech that like makes you lose a bunch of it for me, or make it makes it go down a lot faster than this? Because right now it's like ticking down so slowly. Hmm. Subsidize everything. Get that industry rolling. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <coughs> Sure. Are we upgrading that? Okay. No idea if this is good or bad, but I am hoping it's good. Mm, 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 mm. We're getting a lot of people per day, I think. It seems like a lot. 15,000 ish. Give or take a couple of thousand. Yeah. 
12 million people. Can we see how many people lives in Germany? Like in total. Uh, 12. Okay, roughly the same. <laughs> Form alliance. Gurkhas, Ascaris, and something. Yeah, stay at home. Hmm. Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, create a new unit. Do that. Close and do this and but. And here, we want one more artillery and three infantry. Can we build that? One artillery, Europe. Oh, we have one. Took. Was it three infantry? Oh, we have no infantry left up here. I guess I could build it down in... What's his face? Uh, Africa? Sure. It was three, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Let's get another army up and rolling. <coughs> Combine here. Man of war. Our navy sucks big balls. I think. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Satellite of the Ottomans. Okay. So, Ottomans, are you in any sphere? Nope. Okay, you're in the Austro Hungarian, you're in the Russian, Serbian, and Bulgaria. At the what now? In 1877, the French Havas news agency published a dispatch to the effect that Julemain Jalebel, a medieval and obscure French police inspector, had been arrested by two agents of the German civil police on the Franco-German frontier near bagny moselle as he was traveling for a meeting with the German police inspector there, at the latter's request. A dispute followed as to whether the arrest had taken place on France or on German territory. But regardless, under the circumstances, Schnebel... Schnebele is entitled to immunity even if on German territory, since he had been invited to a conference by German officials. The reason given to the rest was that in previous in inquiry, evidence had been produced that Schnellbele was involved in transmitting information to as to German fortresses furnished by Alsatians in the pay of the French government. In other words, Germans believe Schnebele was to be a spy. Demand him free. Uh, it's time to reclaim. Mm, not. I don't see any like declaration of war here, though. Uh, <laughs> I want to click this, but I don't want to go to war. Right. Do, this, do you see any go to war for this? I don't see it here. Okay, nothing happened, I think. Other than uh, we still had it as a core, I think. Uh, bleh, right, yeah. You uh, oh, atmosphere. Donk. Mm -hmm. Oh, had oh well. S S Barry explodes. Okay, you can pause and read this. Stockpile one steamer compound. Hey, what? One steamer convoy. Yeah. Okay. I don't want that. <laughs> Place in the sun. Oh, railroads. Sweet. Give it here. Everywhere. The capitalists will also build it themselves, but... Uh. Oh, forts, yes. More forts as well. Then we have to cut after I've picked a new... Tech. Hmm. Bessemir, Thomas Steel, Coal Mine, 
farming output. It's more just output. Fematic and hydraulics, let's get that one. Power loop. Hmm. Alright. We have to cut. So, thanks for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. I very much appreciate your support. And the biggest of thanks to my channel members. David Wilson, Mike Murray, Tim Marino, and Wisco Matt. Thanks a lot. Hope to see you all next time. Bye.